We begin the news with a story from last week. The new Mongolian Haruma Fuji Academy, set up by the ex-Yokozuna in 2018, has produced its first set of graduates. 116 students received their certificates from the man himself, who was wearing a face shield, in front of a banner with a bilingual message, Japanese and Mongolian, saying, Be inquisitive, be considerate, and leap forward. School principal Haruma also praised the two countries in his graduation address, and expressed his delight at having achieved his dream of providing children with a world-class education. Back in Japan, Tokusho Ryu, just two years younger than Haruma Fuji, has been fielding plenty of questions starting with, You know, last time? That's because he's back in Division 1 for July, and the last time he stepped up, he immediately took the title, as I'm sure we'll never forget. And with customary good humour, he batted away title talk for this time by saying, Yeah, that was then. He continued, I'm happy to be back up, because if you're going to do this, you want to be in the top division. However, I'm really only thinking about one bout at a time, one tournament at a time, right now. So, uh, don't expect the world. That said, getting double figures in May brings the confidence back. A key focus, he claims, is securing his body against injury. He did seem to be limping in January. And he praises his wife for feeding him nutritious mixed-grain rice. Rather less upbeat is stablemate Hideno Umi, who apparently dislocated a toe, his left little one, in this May defeat to Endo. He then slotted it back into joint himself in the changing room, and was apparently praised for his technique by the observing physio. I'm not doing practice bouts yet because I've got to be able to stand firm on that foot first, Hide explained. But I'll be ready for the July tournament. He won only one bout post-dislocation, much to the ire of the ex Goedo, his Saitama Sakai senior. What the hell are you scared of? Goedo allegedly barked. You're fighting like an amateur! Hide still sees himself as Sanyaku material, though, and his 32nd birthday on Friday has only heightened his resolve to get there quickly. Wakataka Kage, of course, is guaranteed a Sanyaku debut already. He's been preparing with some hard sessions against stable mates, including new second division man Ko Tokuzan. As usual, I'm focused on hitting hard and pushing up from below, Waka said. I feel I could get forward more than usual today. And reflecting on successive technique prizes, quite some feat, he added, I do feel that if I impose my style fully, I can hold my own with the best. They do try to slap me forward, so I try hard to keep my feet diagonal. He has now equaled his grandfather's highest rank of Komusubi. Naturally, he now aims higher. Elsewhere, Toyo Hibiki has held his retirement press conference, and added some details about his finest sumo moments. His only gold star against Hakuho, for example, was actually earned with his coach watching at ringside. That's right, said coach Sakaigawa. Our eyes met at the moment of victory, and it was really emotional. Obviously I couldn't react as a judge, but when we returned to the stable that night, I told him how well he'd done. And there was quite a celebratory mood that evening, as Sakaigawa stablemates Miyogiryu and Goedo had both beaten Ozeki. Tohibiki confirmed his detached retina was his scariest experience, but despite the risks, continued going in with the head for the rest of his career, and living up to his nickname of Heisei-era's Raging Bull. I hope you can train up the Reiwa-era Raging Bull, laughed his coach. Finally, Yokozuna candidate and ex-Haruma Fuji stablemate, Teruno Fuji, took eight bouts from ten off Takara Fuji on Wednesday, and then told reporters things were not going badly. On Dohyo training is important, but off the Dohyo is where I seek my gains, he also revealed. 
I try to work three times as hard as others outside the ring. That all sounds very Hakuho-esque. And if he does join Hakuho at the very top, we can expect to see his first Grand Champion ceremony... here. <laughs> 